In this lecture, we are going to connect into the server and actually get ready for all the multiplayer things we can do in the future. Let's start. Now let's connect into the server. It's one of the most important things you can do in a multiplayer game and without it, we can actually do anything. So let's create a new empty game object and we'll call it connect to server. Let's actually drag the event system into the canvas because I want the hierarchy to stay more clean. Now, in the connect to server, we are going to create a new script and I will also call it connect to server. We currently have just a script sitting in a project bar, so let's create a new folder. I'm going to call it scripts and we'll drag the connect to server script into it. And now let's open it up in Visual Studio. Let's delete the update method and this text right here and also those namespaces above. Because we are using Photon to create our game, we need to use its namespace. So write using Photon.pan. With Photon, drawing a server is really easy. To actually do that, all we need to do is to search for Photon Network and we are going to search for Connect Using Settings. This method alone will connect us into the server of Photon. And that's actually all we need to do to connect the server. But we're going to improve that by printing a message when the player actually joined the server. To do that, we need to replace the mono behavior with mono behavior pan callbacks. This will allow us to use methods called override methods. For example, if you're going to search for public override void, in here you can see unconnected to master, and this method is called when the client is connected to the master server and ready for matchmaking. We're going to replace this default text with debug.log. And we will write here, we are connected into the server. Semicolon. If you're confused by what master is, it's basically just another word for server. Server has a lot of names, so if you come across a name like region or master, now it means server. Now let's save it and go back into anything. And play our game. You can see the console, we are connected into the server. And it's really exciting because we are. You can't really see what happened, but if you want to understand the details behind it, we can actually do that. So in the assets, photon, and the resources, you find here the photon server settings file. And in here, the pan logging is set to arrows only. But if we will set it to full and play the game, we will get a lot more information about what's happening in the background. Back in the console, you can see pan got region list going to ping minimum regions based on the result summary. And then we are connected to the EU server. And finally, the text we created, we are connected into the server. I will leave it to arrows only because I don't want our console to be spammed. But this is actually really useful and tells what's happening in the background. The Photon region list is a list of servers that Photon has across all over the world. So if you go into this website, you can find it in the resources next to this lecture. And scroll down a bit, you can find all the regions that Photon has across the world. And currently, my player is connected to the region in Europe that is actually hosted in Amsterdam. And of course, if you have any questions, you can always ask me in the Q&A down below. So that's really cool. We are connected into the server and we can do much more things from now on. See you in the next lecture.